Well, people from all over the country come to Siouxland to begin their career in broadcasting. For one newcomer to Channel 9, it didn't take long for the community and one of her competitors to make a lasting impression. Her story is the focus of tonight's edition of Where Are They Now? Farmland in South Dakota is more expensive than ever. Milwaukee native Jennifer Seeker came to Channel 9 just days after graduating from the University of Missouri. It was quite a greeting. I remember when I first arrived in Sioux City, it was just a horrible windstorm and it was windy and I was trying to move into my apartment and it was just a tough first winter to be there. But something else soon caught Jennifer's attention as well. We met on a story just a couple days after we both started in January um, 2001. It was a handsome Irishman from Boston named Tim Conroy. He'd started as a reporter at another station. Not only were the careers off and running, so was their relationship. We just love running by the river. I think that's such a beautiful trail. and We were so lucky to have that there, and we ran our first half marathon while we were there. There were many big news events Jennifer covered in Sioux City, but it's the story of Doug Campbell, who survived a serious lawnmower accident thanks to more than 200 donated units of blood that touched her most. This is Queen Conroy. Hi, Queener. Jennifer and Tim also know a little something about miracles. This is Quinn, 13 minutes after birth, six, week or six weeks early, so we had to spend almost two weeks in the hospital. Quinn Williams Conroy weighed a little less than five pounds at birth. Now at nine months, he's a healthy 17 pounds. Watching out for you in Southern Oregon and Northern California, this is Newswatch 12 at 6. Congressman Greg Walden says he will vote against a bill to fund... These days, Jennifer and Tim call Medford, Oregon home, where they work at the same station. Running has also played a bigger role in their life. They've taken part in four marathons from San Francisco to Portland and Sacramento. But there's still a big spot in their heart for Sioux City. And I miss the downtown. It doesn't seem like there are some of the towns out here on the West Coast don't have that neat downtown, and we really enjoy that. When Jennifer and Tim left for Oregon in 2003, they left with more than just memories. Abby, the farm cat from Hinton and the Humane Society, made the 1,700-mile ride, and... This is our prairie dog we got when we were in Sioux City. And it always reminds us of Sioux City, makes us smile every time we see it. We thought that was such a neat project to have those big prairie dogs. And so that's our little reminder of Sioux City. Jennifer anchors mm -hmm. the 5, 6, and 11 p.m. newscast. Tim reports and anchors at the same station as well. So life with this young family can be a juggling act, but so far, Kit, uh, it looks like uh, they have at least the luck of the Irish <laughs> on them, especially Something's with little working for Quinn them. Conroy. What a cutie. <laughs>